me and my friends decided to stop playing Enshrouded for a bit, and we didn't want to lose all our progress we made. So I decided to make this video in order to show them and you guys how to take uh, your server save file and move it from like GTX Gaming, which is the service I used, and put it on your own computer to keep playing locally. All right, the first thing you're going to do is start a private game in Enshrouded. You can name it whatever you want. I named it random. You'll see that it's a flame level one. And I would recommend doing this, just going through the first quest. I tested this a number of times and this is what worked for me. So basically I just got the materials to build the altar. And once I did that, and waited for the quest to update. I exited out to the desktop. I rented my server from GTX Gaming. I know there's a lot of different companies out there. It's kind of the same um, formula though. You just go to your file manager, you find your save game folder, and you choose the most recent saved game. You'll see a bunch of backups there. I'm going to download this saved game and it should just simply arrive in my download for folder. Okay, now I'm going to help you find your enshrouded saved files on Steam. We're gonna to go to our C drive. We're gonna to go to our program files 86. We're gonna to go to our Steam folder. Then we're going to go to our user data, usually at the bottom. Then open this folder with the number. Then we're going to open the folder 1203620. That's your app ID for Enshrouded. All right, now that you're in the saved game folder, if you haven't touched Enshrouded since the start of the video, you should see four files that link to the new game we created together earlier. So this can look a little different for everyone. Um, this is how you basically make sure that you're looking at the right save. You sort the folder by date modified, and that's the key. So this will show you which files were most recently changed, and that should match the exact time you created the new world. And um, and that's what we did in the beginning of the video. We began the video by starting a new game and then exiting out. Um, and you'll notice it's kind of hard to tell which files belong to which save. So if you've played a lot of different worlds, sorting by date modified will definitely help you quickly find the most recent one. And one thing to note, do not touch any of the files that include the word character in the name we're looking to only be dealing with the world saves. So that is your character data. If you delete it, you will have to start over. So I know I have four files attached to that local save I just created called random based on my date modified file organization tip. I'm going to delete one of them that has the word index. I'm also going to delete two others that have the word info and then I'm going to just have one file left remaining. Now here's the key part. I'm not copying the file itself. I'm just copying the name of the local save file and then once I've copied that name I go to my downloads folder and find the file I downloaded from my rental server. This is the save file with all the progress we made online and so next I'm going to rename the downloaded file using the name I just copied with my local save. That way the game recognizes it. And so finally I drag the renamed file into my local enshrouded save folder and replace the original. And that's it. Your server world is now loaded into the local game and you can keep playing everything right where you left off. 
Lastly, I'm just going to go in, test it out. You'll see that it will appear as a flame level one, but once you hit the play button, the game will automatically generate those files that were deleted and connect it to your save, which you have transferred from the rental service. And there you go, here's my save. I have a flame level seven. Everything's here, which I've worked on. Now when I return to the game menu, you'll see that it's a flame level seven connected to that game name random.